now we are going to discuss about VXML elements in VXML or uh, what are the elements or tags we were using so in this video uh, I'll just brief about uh, I'll show you what are the list of all elements now going forward videos I'll show you uh, I'll give you the descriptions in tags and examples as well for all the tags so here if you see uh, the uh, main elements uh, what are the key elements we were using in VXML we are going to discuss now see here uh, the element is VXML tag so VXML element so we, the, the purpose of VXML tag element is defines the root element of a VXML document which means that so if you wanted to write a VXML file then uh, the starting tag should be like a VXML so this is the main root element uh, in the VXML document we can say and then form tag it defines a form to be filled out by the user so which form the user wants to fill up that uh, for that purpose we using form tag and then field defines a field within a form allowing to the user input data so inside the form uh, it should be a sub tag field and then prompt provide instructions or prompts to the user next grammar tag specify the expected input for a field and no input tags it specifies the action to take if the user does not provide input uh, if the user and then next no match which specifies the action to take if the user's input does not match the expected format then next uh, menu tag uh, which defines a menu of options for the user to select and then choice define an option within a menu say as so which will define how text should be pronounced or interpreted by the speech synthesizer uh, like <coughs> it, uh, o in the grammar it can be like a o zero how it is pronunciation zero or zero like that the pronunciation how it will be so for that purpose we use say as tag and then audio it plays a pre-recorded audio and go to jumps to a specified point in the VXML document and then exit it terminates the VXML session and then next few more um, elements are there that is block uh, I'll just read out that sit in this video so in the next videos I as I informed everything syntax as examples I'll provide it for all the block elements so block mainly the purpose of uh, block is groups related elements together and then var tag it defines a variable and its initial values if else if else for each these all you can see you even in Java also we use in other languages also we use so you know right for what is the purpose of these tags and then submit uh, it sends a data from a form to server side scripting process and then filled it specifies the action to take when a form has been successfully filled out catch the catch action to take if any error occurs throw it generates an error condition and uh, triggers the specified catch block then record it records the input from the user transfer tag it transfers the calls to another party of a party or server next prospect uh, the main purpose of this prospect tab is tag is initiates uh, outbound dialing to a specified phone number DTMF uh, it listens for a DTMF dual tone multi frequency input from the server few more uh, like property tag it defines a platform specific property <coughs> property for use in the VXML document input mode which specifies the type of input device to use like touchstone keypad voice recognition for that purpose and then output tag which specifies the audio output device and volume settings transfer audio it specifies audio to play while transferring a call to another party or service and then VXML form it mainly it embeds a VXML document within a HTML or XML XHTML document. Then a form item. It specifies a form item to be included with a VXML form. 
grammar group defines a group or grammars to be used for speech recognition rule defines a rule within a grammar tag allows for custom extensions to the vxml specification meta element uh, which specifies the metadata for a vxml document such as language on car set next transfer audio it specifies audio to play while transferring the call to another party or service option go if go to if sub dialog sub dialog invokes a sub dialog to perform a specific task such as asking for additional information and then sub dialog ref which references a sub dialog to be used in the current vxml document then output class which specifies the css class to apply it to a prompt or output element next return it returns a control to the previous vxml document a multi page application in a multi page ap application next vxml script it defines a script in a language other than voice xml and then script it defines a script in ecmascript javascript to be executed by the browser next disconnect which is used for disconnects the call that's it so these are the main uh, mainly we use in a vxml uh, code so these are the tags if i miss anything i'll add go going forward i hope you understood what are all the inbuilt um, predefined tags or there in the vxml so these are the main elements we use in a vxml code if you learn about these tags you will uh, you will get um, all the vxml coding okay i hope you understood well if you like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thank you